Hey guys, in this video, I'm going to show you how you can install Windows 11 on VirtualBox. So in order to install Windows 11 on VirtualBox, make sure that you have the latest version of VirtualBox. If you don't have the latest version, you can always update it. You can go to file here and then you can just click on check for updates and it's going to check for updates. In my case, I'm on the recent version because I have already updated my VirtualBox, but make sure that you have the latest and the greatest version of VirtualBox, and then you will be able to create the Windows 11 virtual machine easily. The second thing you require is the Windows 11 ISO file. So let me show you how you can download the Windows 11 ISO file. So first of all, just open your favorite browser and search for Windows 11 ISO. And the first link which will appear here will be from microsoft.com. So you just need to click on this link. I will put this link in the description of this video also. So you can directly come to this link. Now in here, you might need to log in with your Microsoft account. I have already logged in with my Microsoft account and I will see this kind of window. Here you have a few options. We want to download the ISO file. So we will go to this section which says download Windows 11 disk image. Here you just need to select the Windows 11 option and then you can click on download. Now when you click on the download option, you will see one more option to select the product language. I will choose English here, but you can choose any other language. So let me choose English International and then I will just click on confirm. And when I click on confirm, it's going to show me this 64 bit download button here. So you just need to click on this 64 bit download button, which is going to start the download of Windows 11 ISO file. So now as you can see, this Windows 11 ISO file is downloaded on my PC. So once you have the Windows 11 ISO file, we are ready to create our Windows 11 virtual machine. So for that, just open your virtual box and then click on new here. And then we are going to name our uh, virtual machine as Windows 11. And you will be able to see Windows 11 in the version here. If you have the older version of virtual box, you will not see this Windows 11 uh, option. That's why I've told you to update the version of VirtualBox on your machine, right? Otherwise you won't see this option. The type is uh, Microsoft Windows, which is okay. You can change the machine folder from here. I'm going to change it to some other folders and then I will just select this folder. So I have changed the uh, uh, machine folder, which means my virtual machine will be uh, saved here in this folder, right? And then I'm going to click on next. Here in the memory size, I will choose uh, up to this green level. So up to the end of this green level and then click on next. And then on the next window in the hard disk section, I will just leave it as default, which is create virtual hard disk now and then click on create. And the hard disk file type will be VDI. So leave it as default and then click on next. And on this next window in the storage on physical hard disk section, I will leave it as default, which is dynamically allocated. If you want to learn more what is dynamically allocated and fixed size, you can uh, read this description and then click on next. And then here file location and size. So file location, I will leave it as default, but you can change it to some other destination. And for the size, I will use around 100 GB for my virtual machine. And then I'm going to click on create here. So once you click on create, your virtual machine will be created, but still we haven't provided the path of our ISO file. So just select your virtual machine, which you have created. In my case, it's Windows 11 and then click on settings here. And then in the general settings, when you click on advanced, you will be able to see these two options. I generally make these two options bi-directional which means you will be able to copy from your host to your virtual machine and vice versa right 
description leave it as default and uh, the disk encryption also you can leave it as default click on system now and in the processors section i generally move it to the end of the green level and then i will move to the next section here i will leave everything as default make sure if this third option is not selected which is vbox svga make sure you select this and then click on storage here you will be able to see this uh, empty uh, disk icon so just click on this and then you can uh, click on live cd dvd and then you can uh, click on this cd option here and click on choose a disk file which will open this kind of folder explorer so here you need to choose your iso file which you have downloaded for windows 11 i have downloaded this windows 11 iso file so i'm going to choose this file and then click on open and then you can click on ok here the other settings you can change anytime right now i'm going to click on ok here and then i'm going to start my virtual machine so just select your windows 11 virtual machine and click on start which is going to start the installation of windows 11 on a virtual box and once you click on start your windows 11 installation will start so now you can see the installation of windows 11 has been started so i'm going to click on next here and then click on install now when you click on install now it's going to show you this kind of window where you can provide your valid license or product key if you have if you want to provide this product key later after the installation you can choose i don't have a product key option and this will allow you to install windows 11 and then you can provide the product key later also after the installation so that's what i'm going to do so i'm going to click on i don't have product key option and then from here you can choose the type of operating system you want to install i'm going to choose here windows 11 pro and then click on next and as soon as you click on next you will see this problem so at the time of making this video most of the people are facing this problem in order to install windows 11 maybe virtualbox will fix this problem later so you won't see this problem but in my version and at the time of making this video this problem arises so let me show you how you can fix this problem so for fixing this problem you just need to close this window and then click on yes and then you can once again close this window and then click on power of the machine and once you click on the power of the machine option you just need to select this windows 11 once again and then click on start once again now once you see this window in your virtual box when you install windows 11 at this point you need to press shift f10 key okay so just press shift and the f10 key together which is going to open this command line right once this command line opens you need to type reg edit reg edit i'm going to put each and every command in the description of this video so you can see which command you need to uh, give in order to follow this video right so just type reg edit here and then press enter which is going to open this kind of window which is called registry editor window now here in the h key local machine option so just expand this option you will be able to see system option so just expand this also and then you will be able to see setup option so just expand this setup option also now on the setup you just need to right click here and then click on new and then click on key here and then just name it as lab config so just type l a b c o n f i g okay so make sure your lab config looks similar to what i have typed with the capital l and capital c and then press enter which is going to create this key for you now once you have created this key just click on this lab config key and on the right hand side just right click here and then click on new and then select dword32 value and name this value as bypass tpm check and make sure you spelled uh, the bypass tpm check as i have done 
with the capital B, T, P, M and C, right? And then press enter. Once this key is created, just right click on it once again and then click on modify. And here in the value data, you need to change it to one instead of zero here. Okay, so make sure that you enter value data is equal to one and then click on okay. Once this is done, right click on this uh, window once again and then new and then select diva 32 bit value once again. And this time we are going to name this value as bypass secure boot check. And then click on enter. Once this key is created, once again, we will modify this value and we will just give the data value to one and then click on okay, right? So basically we have created two values. One is bypass TPM check and other is bypass secure boot check and we have given the value one here in both uh, the keys, right? Basically what it's going to do is it's going to bypass the TPM check and the secure boot check. So once that's done, you can close this window and also you can close the command prompt and here you can start the installation process again. So you can choose the language to install, time and currency format, you can also choose the keyboard input method. In my case, I'm going to choose here German and then click on next. And then I'm going to click on install. And in here you need to provide the product key. So I'm going to uh, just leave it as blank and then click on I don't have the product key. And then I'm going to choose Windows 11 Pro and then click on next. And now you can see it shows us this window, which means the warning which we were seeing is gone and now we can proceed with the installation of Windows 11 on VirtualBox. So at this point, you just need to check this checkbox and then click on next and then click on custom install Windows only. Now at this point, you can leave this uh, unallocated space like this. You can always create a new partition in the later stages also. So I'm going to leave it as default and then click on next. And now I have to wait for the installation process. So I need to wait until all these options have this right green tick. And now I can see the installation wizard. So on the first window where I need to choose the country and region, I will leave it as default and then click on yes. And then on the next window, I need to choose my keyboard layout. So you can choose any keyboard layout from here. I'm going to choose the German keyboard layout from here and then I'm going to click on yes and then want to add a second keyboard layout. I will just click on skip here. Now on this next window, I need to provide the device name. So I will choose a very simple name CB and then click on next. Now on this next window, I see how would you like to set up this device? I will choose setup for personal use, but you can choose uh, setup for work or school also. So let me choose this option and then click on next. And now at this point, you will be asked to provide your Microsoft account. So if you have your Microsoft account, then you can log in with your Microsoft account. And if you don't want to use your Microsoft account in order to log in to your Windows operating system, you can click on this option which says sign in options. And then you can choose this option which says offline account. So I'm going to choose the offline account. And on the next window, I see this uh, message which says what is a Microsoft account. I will just skip for now. So I will just click on skip for now. And then uh, who is going to use this device? So you need to provide the name of the person who is going to use this device for simplicity i'm going to just write code bind here and then click on next and then you need to provide a password you might want to provide a very strong password for your windows operating system i'm going to choose a very simple password and then click on next and then i'm going to confirm my password and then click on next and then you will be asked to just answer three security questions which will help you to recover your password. So I'm going to provide very random answers here. And now I'm going to click on next. 
and on the next window you will be asked to choose privacy settings for your device i will unselect each and every option here because i don't want to share anything with microsoft and then click on accept and now i can see getting things ready for you message so just wait for some time and now at this point i can see that my windows 11 operating system has been started successfully so you can see the windows operating system has been started but one thing which is missing here is when i just expand this virtual box window this windows uh, desktop doesn't resize according to the size of my virtual box window so to solve this problem i need to install virtual box guest editions on my windows 11 virtual machine so for that you just need to click on devices at the top and then click on insert guest edition cd image so just click on this option it says insert guest editions cd image once you do that and once you click on file explorer here you will be able to see when you click on this pc this option which says cd drive virtualbox guest edition so you can just double click on this uh, option and from here you can uh, see the setup so you can just click on this option which says virtualbox windows editions i'm going to just click on this and then click on yes and i'm going to minimize the window and here you can see this window so i'm going to click on next here and this will be the location so just click on next and then click on install which is going to install the virtualbox guest editions and then i'm going to click on install here and once that's done you just need to click on finish which is going to reboot your windows virtual machine right so leave it as checked and then click on finish which is going to restart your windows 11 and once your windows 11 restart i'm going to just provide my password here and then press on enter and once i'm logged into my windows 11 operating system i'm going to try to resize my virtual box window and see if my windows 11 uh, screen is resized or not so you can see my windows 11 screen is resized according to the size of my virtual box window so now you can start using windows 11 on virtual box so this is how you can install windows 11 on your virtual box i hope you've enjoyed this video and i will see you in the next video